Hello my friends, welcome back to Tales of Graces F. Today we're going to go ahead and find out more about this mysterious girl. As I've mentioned in the last part, her name is named after a flower. And if you, in case you probably didn't really watch throughout the whole video, you'll see why. I'm not going to spoil this game anymore, because who does that? Pfft, I think there's a cutscene up. Hi, Mom. Hello, boys. Your father. He's just gonna yell at us again. He doesn't know when to quit. Asbel, you mustn't speak so of your father. He thinks only of you and your brother's best interests. Ugh, not this again. Your father is waiting in his study. Her all right, all right. Hey, Sharia? Can you keep an eye on her until we get back? Huh? Oh, sure. You must forgive my son, Sharia. He puts you through so much trouble. Oh no, it's no trouble. Regardless, you should rest. You must be exhausted after all that Asbel put you through. I, I didn't put her through anything. You are the heir to the Launt Lordship, Asbel. You must learn to think more carefully about those around you. From now on, you are forbidden to take Sharia with you when you play. Do you understand? No! Lady Carrie, please! I'm fine! Sharia! This is ridiculous! Dad's bad enough, but now you? I'll play with whoever I want, so you can just butt out! Asbel! <coughs> Sharia! Oh dear. You should take her home, Frederick. Come along, Sharia. I... <laughs> I'm sorry. Sharia. We should go see what Dad wants. Hey, you wanna come? Yes. I'm sorry if I skipped part of the dialogue there. I don't think there was... I didn't... I don't think I missed really much important... anything important. So we got the main crew. Cherry is not accompanying us. Let's go see uh, Dad in the study. You certainly took your time, Asbel. Hmm. Who's the girl? We met her outside town. She seems to have amnesia. She doesn't remember who she is or where she's from. Oh? Well, we can worry about such things later. I need to speak with you. What is it now? I received a letter from a very important man in the capital. His son is coming to visit Lont. A visitor from the capital, huh? That's rare, isn't it, Dad? This boy is around the same age as you, but you are not to approach or speak with him. He hails from one of the most powerful families in the Windor Kingdom. We cannot be seen to show him even the slightest disrespect. If something were to happen, it would be a blight on the Launt name. Do you understand? Why are you just asking me? Do you understand? Yes. Good. As for the girl, I shall hand her over to the authorities. I'm confident they will be able to find her family. This is the best thing we can do for her now. What? Huh? This plan should put your mind at ease, yes? I want to be with Asbel. You do? What is this about, Asbel? You don't want to go? I don't know, but I want to stay with Asbel. Are you in some sort of trouble? Of course she isn't. Um, right? Well, she cannot stay here. I will contact the authorities and make arrangements for her transfer. Don't worry about it. I can take care of her. What? I can take care of her. This is foolishness. I'm serious. Do you even understand what you're saying? 
You are a powerless child who couldn't possibly be entrusted with such responsibility. Well, how will you know if you don't let me try? My lord, a messenger has arrived concerning our guest from the capital. Right, send him in. Asbel, we shall continue this conversation later. Until then, stay out of trouble. Damn it. Come on, Asbel. I'm going to help her, and I don't care what anyone says. Let's go. Okay. Okay. So now then. Where are those guys? Who was that? Frederick? He's part of Sharia's family. Family? You know, moms and dads and brothers and sisters and stuff. Don't worry, I'm sure you have one. Moms and dads, would they be important to me? Of course, they're your family. How about yours? Yeah, they... What's wrong? I don't know. I wonder what Mom and Dad actually think of me. I'm sorry, I don't have the answer to your question. I wasn't asking you. There's a star up here, which is like a memory. Want to point that out? Ooh, discovery. Is that you in this picture, Asbel? You look different. Yeah, I was probably around nine years old back then. My father had some artist paint it. Nine? I'm eleven now, so that would have been two years ago? Oh, but hey, uh, how old are you? I don't know. Maybe fourteen? Really? Hmm. Are you sure you're older than me? <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and check out what the star means. Must you leave so soon? Is there no other way? It's for his own good. The sooner he gets out there, the sooner he'll get used to it. He's just so young. Look, I know how you feel. I'm not happy to see him go either. No, in the end, this is the best thing we can do for him. I don't want my boys fighting over Lant after I'm gone. Yes, you're right. Of course. Have faith in him. He's a strong child. Yep. I know exactly what they're talking about. Aston just doesn't even care. He just walks away. He's like, Fuck you, kid. You're a dick. Anyway, side quests have been added to the user's guide. Um, I don't know what side. Yeah. Um, what that means is, I think if you go check out your... I don't care. Go check out your uh, user's guide. And check out side quests. There you go. Yeah, it's, it's kind of handy, I guess, in a way. I'm gonna go ahead and save my game. Side quests are really good for this game because they help you out a lot in the long run, which we'll be doing a lot when we get to certain parts of the game. So yeah, anyway, we're gonna go outside probably to another cutscene, so hey, we'll see you back when this is done. Seems like all Dad knows how to do is treat me like a child can't stand it. Why am I the only one he ever yells at? W well, you're the oldest, and that means you'll be the Lord of Lot one day. I'd rather become a knight in service of the king. The capital has a special training school for knights. Did you know that? I've heard of it, but Asbel, can you... Can you really take care of this girl?
yeah, I don't have a choice. I have to show Dad that I'm not just some useless child. Well, yes, but... Hey, Sharia, you feeling better? Oh, yes, I'm fine. So, did your dad decide what to do with the mystery girl? Yeah, I'm gonna take care of her. What?! Don't shout like that! You'll make yourself sick again. It's your fault! What do you mean you're going to take care of her? I just mean I'll be responsible for her until we find out who she is. What if we never find out? Well, then... I'll be with her for the rest of my life! The rest of your... No, you can't do that! Are you kidding me? You just can't! Too late. I've already decided. Let it go, Sharia. He'll never change his mind now. Unbelievable! Hey, you're with us now, okay? Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay. But if you're gonna be our friend, we need to give you a name. Hmm. How about... <gasps> Tiger Festival! You idiot! What kind of a girl would want a stupid name like that? Unbelievable! My brother's not very good with names. Fine, then. What do you want to call her? Um, well, I don't know. We found her in a meadow, right? So maybe we should name her after a flower. Sharia, what was the name of that flower I gave you? Hmm? It's called a Sopharia. Sopharia. Aha! I got it! We're gonna name her Sophie. Sophie. Oh, it's kind of pretty. I agree. It's a good name. All right. From now on, your name is Sophie. Is that okay? Sophie? Sophie... Well, do you like it or what? My name is... Sophie. Nice to meet you, Sophie. Hurry! This way! Sophie, come on! Where are they going? Forgive me, young masters, but did Lord Aston perchance come this way? He just ran by a second ago. It seems like he was headed out of t What the heck happened? The turtle's transport containing our young guest is long overdue. Lord Aston fears they may have met with tragedy on the road. That guest must be the boy Dad was talking about. We should go take a look for ourselves. Don't be silly. What can we do? We'll just get in the way. <laughs> we won't know for sure unless we try. The kid's coming from the capital, so we should head in that direction. All right, everyone, let's get this show on the road. You heard the man. Sorry if I felt like I startled you guys a little bit there. Okay, so. So we got more titles. Uh, I know how to work the titles game. Okay. Um, before, anyway, before I, uh, oh, I want to equip this. Before I explain anything, um, I want to point something out about the titles, too. You want to make sure you have the thing until rank 5. R ranking it up to 5 is probably the best thing you can do. Don't, like, I would suggest, like, you can master them if you want, because 
there's a mastering thing added to the game, but mastering them doesn't really do much other than like probably double the stats that you get, which I don't normally want to do, probably till like a lot later on. So I just suggest ranking it up to five and then going on with it. So I just set it till it's leveled up to five. Anyway, so we gotta go to the east. Uh, we gotta head east from Lot. So east is this way. Um. No, 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 no. What am I doing? I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, east is up this way. Um. Wait, what am I doing? There's a bridge right there, game. Okay. We gotta go this way. I'm being silly. Uh, we can actually buy some weapons. Probably should do that. Totally forgot about that. So we can get a Baronian, Baronian sword. I don't know why I said Baronian. Baronian sword. Uh, how much do we have? Well... Uh, yeah, we'll just equip this. Yeah. We don't have enough for that. Oh, well. However, we don't even have enough for that either. Okay, well, it's fine. We're, we're good on everything, so. We're gonna exit the area. Cutscene time, I do believe. Oh, wait, nope. Okay. So, hold on. Oh. This is the road that a visitor from the capital would use, right? Huh? This road that we're on now is called East Lont High Road. It connects Lont with the capital city of Barona, and is primarily used to transport Creus gathered from the Lont region and- Good joint. Ow! Don't pinch my cheeks. It hurts. I think she's hurt enough, little brother. But you know, Sophie, Sherry's cheeks are great for pinching too. No, Sophie, stop! <laughs> How Hubert knows all this stuff is beyond me. Alright, so we can fight more of these guys. <clears throat> Might as well. We haven't fought in a while. To people that just came to this part, who didn't see the first part, this is basically how the game is. I love it. It's awesome. It's the best redeeming factor of this game, along with its story. And the music is also amazing, too. It gets way better later on. <clears throat> and there's a discovery thing down here, and I... Okay, I was gonna say, <laughs> why couldn't I move? There's a, there's a discovery point over here, and... Apple Jail. Mm. Let's get to the discovery point. Nice! I found one! What is it? I found a Kreis Shard! Pretty sweet, huh? This is... Sweet? Yeah, it's my new treasure. Huh? So, what treasures do you have? Hmm. I can't remember. I don't think I have any treasures. Huh. Well then, I'll just give you this. Take good care of it, okay? Okay, I will. As well as not all that arrogant. He gives people free stuff. Well, anyway, <clears throat> we have a long march ahead. What are you doing here? It's dangerous. Stay back. Relax. We can handle this. All right. Just got to draw one of them this way. Ah! It's coming for us. Asbel, Hubert. Sharia, take care of the transport. Right. This way, everyone. Bring it on! Hostiles. Basically, uh, it's not really a boss. I guess you can consider it in a way a boss, but it's not really... It's one of the stronger enemies, at least. Oh, I probably should talk about the on-the-fly battle system. By pressing the triangle button, it brings you to this menu. 
And this is why I say the battle system in this game is flawless. It's probably one of the best battle systems in Tales and any of the Tales of series. You can equip your items on the fly. You can put it on your items on the fly, which I probably I need to heal up anyway. But you can also use do strategies on the fly, which is really handy for certain parts of the game. And you can set up your arches that way. But that's a lot later on because there's certain things you need to do with those RTs that you'll find out later on. I think that's all of them. Whew. I think they gave up. That's the last of them. You fool. What? What did I do now? How many times must I tell you to stay put? You could have been hurt, or worse. Stop. S Sophie. Sophie? So she remembers something after all? Actually, Asbel named her Sophie. I see. I suppose you intend to play her guardian now. That's not what I... Lord Aston. Is anyone hurt? We are well, thank you. Please accept my most humble apology. I shall accept whatever punishment you deem fit for providing such inadequate protection. In light of your son's bravery, I think this incident can be forgiven. I am unworthy of such kindness, noble sir. Are you all right? I'm fine. <laughs> now he's putting on his groveling act. Our visitor, Master Richard, will be staying in the manor's guest chambers. I shall say this but once. Do not approach him for any reason. I will not accept any more troublemaking from you. Am I clear? Yeah, yeah. Lord Aston, we should be off. Yes, of course. Please permit me to escort you the rest of the way. was nothing. That Richard person was inside the turtle's transport. I wish we could have met him. Well, he'll be in the guest chambers. Asbel, no! You can't possibly- Oh, yes I can. It's time to meet this Master Richard for ourselves. But you can't! If Dad finds out, he'll have our heads. Look, it'll be fine. We're just gonna take a peek. Now, let's get home and meet our new guest. What I love about this game is, or what I love about that whole thing is that nobody says anything after that. Like, Jerry doesn't even say, oh, you're not supposed to do that. Listen to your father. Yada yada yada. No, and Cherry is like the giddy giddy, pretty much, of the character cast that we have so far. You're amazing, Sophie. Where'd you learn that? Where? I wonder. Oh, yeah, the dialogue at the end of the battles are pretty awesome, too. <clears throat> anyway. Um, there's really nothing else to say. We could talk to more people, but really, the people don't really say much. So, and we also have a thing coming up, so I'm going to go ahead and shut up and let you listen to that. Turtle's transport was pretty impressive. Did you see how Dad talked to that guy? The visitor must be really important. He said he was close to Asbel's age. Whoa! Sophie spoke up on her own. Asbel, promise me you won't do anything stupid. Dad said his name was Richard, right? Okay, let's get back to the manor. Hmm. <sighs> mm hmm. <laughs> Sophie's always just copying everyone else, being herself. Anyway, I guess we'll buy another weapon. 
Oh, we don't have enough. Max HE by 20. I'm gonna keep that around. You know what? I'm not really gonna actually sell anything. Let's just get back to the manor. Head to the manor's guest chambers. Cutscene time! Actually, yeah, I think there is a cutscene that comes up.